Hey everyone, this is Lars Schmidt and I am the host of the Talent Connect live stream for 2015. You are watching an exclusive broadcast, a preview of Talent Connect 2015 that will be live from Anaheim with myself and JT O'Donnell. Uh, I am the founder of Amplify Talent. I've been in recruiting for over 18 years and uh, this will be my fourth Talent Connect. So I'm really excited to actually be the person, for all of you that can't be with us in Anaheim, I will be the person taking you behind the scenes, giving you exclusive access to the keynotes, uh, interviewing people as they come off the stage, and interviewing the audience, and really trying to give you a sense of what it's like inside of Anaheim. So uh, with me today is the fabulous JT O'Donnell. Uh, JT, how are you? I'm doing well, Lars. Can't wait. Yeah. So JT, what do you? Let's uh, let's give everybody just for those of the of the viewers that don't know you or haven't familiar with your background. Uh, let's give you give everybody a little bit of an uh, understanding of your experience. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like you. I've been in HR and recruiting for over 18 years. I'm the founder of Carillism Media, and uh, I'm going to be co-emceeing with Wade Burgess uh, mm -hmm. on Center Stage, which is going to be a total blast. And I will be. Um, also hanging out with you hopefully a little bit there so we'll yeah. get to see everybody online um, but I'm just really excited about it. It was my first Talent Connect last year and I got hooked. I instantly realized it was the uh -huh. South by Southwest of recruiting. It was our people and I sure. uh, couldn't wait to come back so really honored to be participating this year uh, in this event. That's great. So the uh, this year Talent Connect uh, we're gonna find lots of different ways for the audience to engage directly with us. So the hashtag is hashtag Talent Connect uh, you can interact interact with people actually now. Um, starting now, we're starting to see some more activity on the stream, and especially during the event, you're going to see a lot of traffic. So it's a great way to join the conversation during the event, even if you can't be there in person. You can also follow the Twitter handle at Hire on LinkedIn. They're going to be tweeting lots of behind the scenes insight into what's going on there. So you definitely want to follow that as well. So uh, if you can't be with us in Anaheim. The way to join us on the live stream is if you go to this URL, bit.ly, that's L-Y, slash TC Anaheim, and that's with capital T-C and A. That'll take you to a registration page where you can register for free to join me on the live cast, and uh, you'll actually be able to join JT as well, because at the end of each day, JT and I are going to get together and recap the day and, and what we liked. So with that, we want to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about three things that we are each really excited about for this year's Talent Connect. And I'm going to go first. There's lots of sessions. Uh, one of the greatest things about Talent Connect is there's such a, a good variety of sessions that you can watch. But there's a couple in particular that I'm really excited about. Um, one of them is going to be uh, by a company out of Canada called Earl's Restaurant. And this is a really interesting presentation because their VP of Talent, Brenda Rigney, is going to be presenting with their president, uh, Mo Jessa. And I actually know their story a little bit. She's done some incredible things in the area of employer branding, and really she's going to be talking about how to build a tight, cohesive relationship with the executive leadership of your organization to get support for employer branding. And she's been so successful that it's an employer branding dream now. She has design resources. She has video resources. Uh, so that's going to be a fun story to watch. Uh, another session I'm really excited about is the product keynote. So every year at Talent Connect, uh, LinkedIn unveils new products. And so this will be an opportunity for us to get a first glimpse as to what's coming next with LinkedIn. And uh, the third session I'm really excited about is Dave Hazelhurst. So Dave is going to be giving a, pression, uh, a session called The Art and Science of Digital Connections. And Dave is out of London. He's brilliant. I've seen him present at Talent Connect London. And a really smart guy and great, uh, great delivery and really looking forward to his stuff. Of course, I'm also looking forward to JT's session on recruiter branding, so that's going to be fantastic. So, oh. JT, how about you? <clears throat> that was very sweet. Thank you, Lars. Yeah. Uh, so, I've got a, a ton that I'm going to be running around trying to attend, but um, three big ones for me. Believe it or not, the first day, I'm really excited to see the um, presentation by Pat Wy I can't say this right. Pat Wa Waiters, water. She's going to kill me for this. And Brendan Brown. Um, and the reason for that is you're talking about HR and recruiting coming together. And for anybody that's out there watching this right now, you know what I'm talking about. Recruiting, we tend to sit in our own camp. We don't always play nice with HR. We don't always see their vision. And they have an incredible story that they're going to tell to talk about how do you bridge that gap and become one team, which I think is really important right now as talent is getting tighter and tighter. It's getting more competitive. You have to play on the same team. You've really got to get along. So amazing presentation. 
Day two, I'm actually excited about the other side of the product presentations. There's going to be a presentation about the new member product features. I think this is hugely important. We really want to see members increasing their engagement and participation in the platform so that recruiters are getting access to more talent. So we're going to be hearing a lot about that. I'm really intrigued and want to see what's going on there. And then on the third day, I just cannot wait to see Jai Jing speak about rejection. A hundred rejections in a hundred days. I've actually interviewed him. He is amazing. People are going to be rolling in the aisles laughter, but most importantly, we all need a little reality check about rejection because it's as it gets more competitive, it's harder. You get a lot more rejection in recruiting in times like these. So really excited for that presentation. And uh, But again, there's so many to choose from. That was a little tough. Yeah, there's a lot of choices, and you're right. Recruiters, uh, they need to be pretty comfortable with rejection. So it's going to be interesting to hear some of the stories that uh, he'll share and, uh, and how he's overcome that and how he's actually learned to use rejection to his advantage. Um, moving on to another area that I'm really excited about, I think when you go to an event like Talent Connect, uh, you know, I've heard you call it the South by Southwest of recruiting. I think that definitely is, is fitting. You're, you're in a room with over 2,000 of your peers. Uh, these are people that are focused on recruiting uh, in most cases. And so the opportunity to network and get together, the sessions are fantastic, and so you'll learn a lot through the sessions, but I think one of the things that's super valuable is just the networking, the experience of being there, the experience of being in a room during the keynote with over 2,000 of your peers, uh, all learning together, all sharing ideas, all collaborating. Um, that's something that's really powerful. And this year in Anaheim, they're actually going to be doing some, some interesting new things. So for those of you that are going to be joining us in Anaheim, uh, if you're familiar with the area, obviously Disney is a big player there. Uh, we're going to have California Adventure. So on Wednesday night of Talent Connect, we're going to be uh, having actually most of California Adventure closed off to Talent Connect attendees. So that's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be rides. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting. So uh, definitely come and check that out. Uh, there's going to be lots of new interactive things. This is a great venue. The space where the uh, conference is going to be this year is going to have a lot of opportunities for new interactive venues. So we'll be doing that. And, uh, and again, from a networking piece, a little per personal anecdote for JT and I, uh, the first time we ever met was at Talent Connect last year. You know, we, we've known each other online and uh, through LinkedIn and various things, but uh, hadn't met live until Talent Connect last year. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how many people you meet that, you, that you've known online, and that was a highlight for me. I think one of the things that I can't wait to have everybody witness at this Talent Connect, either in person or online, is the fact that these sessions come in all shapes and sizes. When I was there last year, I was really listening to what people were saying, and occasionally I'd hear somebody say, well, yeah, that wouldn't work for us because we're not that large or we're not that small or we're not this industry or whatnot. And I think these particular breakout sessions are going to prove to people that there is something for every size and shape organization. And we're really going to be challenging you um, there over those three days to be taking those nuggets away from every session and trying to adapt them to your organization because that's what you need to do to compete these days. So very excited to see those real examples of how these companies are getting it done so that we can help others remove those roadblocks. Yeah, and I think I'm going to use my third thing to actually uh, piggyback on a session you were excited about, which is a session with uh, Pat and Brendan about HR and recruiting coming together. One of the exciting things about Talent Connect this year is there's actually, for the first time ever, there's going to be an HR track within Talent Connect. So there's at least 11 sessions that are really more focused around full cycle talent management and HR as opposed to purely recruiting. So I think the audience is going to expand a little bit. Uh, the role of recruiting and recruiting leadership is evolving and so as people are following paths within organizations that are more end-to-end -end talent management, that becomes a, a much bigger piece of the pie beyond just recruiting and so um, for those of you on that career path and that trajectory, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to learn uh, that in courses that in past years would have just been specifically around recruiting, now you're actually going to get a lot of information around HR and talent management. Mm, I know. And you know, I'm going to pick my last track about something that's exciting to me. We've been talking about branding for a long time now, right? Yeah. And I think everyone's finally starting to understand that. What is most interesting to me this time is the fact that everyone's going to learn there are really three brands that you need to look at. Um, we have the employer brand, which is the perception by the employer, the executive team of what it's like to work at the company. And we've got the talent brand, which is how the actual employees view what it's like to work at the company. And we've been talking a lot about how they need to connect and get along and, and sync up, right? You don't want those two things to be two ships passing the night. But here's what we're finding. The secret is that third brand that sits in the middle, and that's all of you. 
the recruiter brand because as a recruiter you represent the employer brand but you also live the talent brand yeah. and so all these companies are now recognizing that the solution lies in starting there with you recruiters you're the heroes and this is what you're going to be learning and adapting in these sessions so that you can get out there deliver that recruiter brand and attract that talent because you're going to see a lot of information that shows those sophisticated job seekers out there really want to know more about you. They want to talk to you, not a company, a person. And we're going to be seeing some incredible insights on that, which I can't wait to share. Yeah, you know, I think that's a great point because especially as the economy continues to pick up and candidates have more option, it's becoming increasingly important for recruiters to actually separate themselves. You know, great candidates are getting a lot of contact by recruiters. And so if you have that recruiter brand, if, they're, if they can if they Google you, which they will be doing, and get an understanding of what you're all about and what your interests are beyond you know, just where you work, there's an opportunity for you to create some connective tissue opportunities with the prospects you're recruiting, and that's going to make you more successful as a recruiter. So yeah, that's a great point. Um, JT, a question for you. I know last year was your first Talent Connect. What was one thing that was unexpected? What was one surprise for uh. you last year? So uh, I was I I became social media obsessed at that at that event. Uh, I downloaded the app. I encourage everyone to download the app. It's completely amazing. You don't have to be at the event to use the app. Uh, but I was in that app tweeting like mad, and I was watching Ariana Huffington's uh, presentation. Which, by the way, I'm in the front row, so right there. And I tweet a comment about something that she said, and she responded back to me. And that was just such an aha moment about how accessible all of the speakers are, you can walk right up to them at this event. There's no, you know, gated uh, piece here. You, people were connecting with the speakers after. In fact, a lot of the speakers come down after the breakouts and there's a line forming and they're talking to people. And I just love that part of it. So for me, that was definitely a thrill, but it showed me just uh, how uh, accessible and easy it was to connect at this event, unlike others that I've been to. Yeah. Yeah, and I think for me too, my, uh, a couple years ago, Cory Booker, was one of the keynotes and uh, same situation you know he was there before he went on stage and was talking to people taking pictures and so I got to have a chance to have a chat with him and uh, and get a picture with him and that was really cool so the accessibility is actually a great point and obviously there's some great keynotes this year including Andy Cohen uh, who I'm really excited to spend some time with uh, and, and learn from because he's doing some really interesting things with Bravo so let's uh, let's tie this up and kind of give everybody a sense of uh, how they can connect with us and how they can connect with the event leading up to the conference. So, JT, how can people find you on Twitter and uh, any other social media properties? Well, obviously they should uh, hit me on Twitter at, at JT O'Donnell. Okay. Pretty straightforward. I will be monitoring hashtag Talent Connect all of the time, so be there and, and get your, your comments out to us both with that. You can send them directly to me during the event. I'm going to be monitoring through all of the events, so would love to connect with you there. Definitely connect with me on LinkedIn. My profile's there. Just uh, send me a connection request. And uh, if you need anything else, you can always go visit our website, too, and, and someone will get your word to us. But mostly Twitter. I'm on there all the time. Cool. Yeah, and same for me. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sharing space with, uh, with JT on Twitter. You can find me there at This Is Lars. Uh, you can also find me on AmplifyTalent.com. And in terms of the, the live stream interaction, again, we're going to be really leaning heavily on the Talent Connect hashtag. So use that hashtag. Also follow Hire on LinkedIn on Twitter. And for the live stream, again, if you can't join us in Bitly, go to, uh, if you can't join us in Anaheim, register for the live stream on Bitly. It's bit.ly slash TC Anaheim with TC and A all capitalized. So we hope to, uh, if we don't see you in Anaheim, I sure hope to see you on the live stream. Yeah. And Cool. So any closing words? No, I'm just really excited. Obviously, I hopefully everybody can see the energy between you and I. I mean, this is this is the thing. You know, if you are trying to take your game up, not just for your company, but for your career, I think this is a really important to, event to attend, either in person or online, because you've got to get that professional development, and you're going to see that over these three days, this stuff is bleeding edge. And it's important that you get that information and start to absorb it so you can stay ahead of the curve because there really is this massive jump in the evolution of recruiting coming and we need to be on the front end, the tip of the curl of that and you do it by attending this event. Great. Well, uh, we thank you for everybody for joining us uh, for the overview and JT and I are actually going to stick around for a little bit and answer questions for people that are joining us in the Hangout. Yeah. So we will wrap up this portion. Uh, stay online if you're online with us, and then we're going to be transitioning now over to questions. Okay. Gentlemen. 
All right, so we see the first question coming in. Bear with me now. I'm toggling multiple screens. So if you're <laughs> looking away and wondering what's going on now, now you know. That's that's the inside scoop. What speaker is a must-see? Uh, JT, you want to tackle that one first? Well, you know, and I mentioned it in my piece, but I honestly cannot wait to see Jai Jing. I can't. Yeah. I just rejection is something so near and dear to my heart. I think we all have to get thicker skin. His take on it, his story is epic. Yeah. You know, there's not a single person that won't relate to that. And uh, I just think we need that right now. So that's my pick. Great. Uh, and I'm going to have to go with Andy Cohen, actually, as a keynote. I think he's he has a fascinating rise from intern to somebody who is now running creative for a major studio. Uh, and, and that kind of meteoric rise is something that has been completely self-made. And I followed his path uh, as he's grown. And so hearing that firsthand and also hearing how he identifies and selects talent uh, you know, he is as close to talent as anybody in Hollywood and in television, so it'll be really interesting to see uh, kind of what some of his benchmarks are for, uh, for gauging talent, uh, but also from an interviewing standpoint. Uh, Watch What Happens Live is, is a great show, and he's got tons of experience interviewing lots of different types of personalities, so that'll be really interesting to follow. Uh, looks like we have another question here. What makes Talent Connect different from other HR conferences? Mm. Hmm. Um, yeah, I can, I'll can. i tackle that one first. I, I've been to, to quite a few, as has JT. We were fortunate to have an opportunity to uh, attend conferences and speak at some conferences. And I think what makes Talent Connect unique is Talent Connect is probably, if, of all the conferences I've been to, it's the largest collection of pure recruiters of any other event that I've been to. So uh, literally, the numbers are you know 2,000 plus. So when you're in a room with over 2,000 of your peers. I still remember vividly my first year when I was walking around, it was in Las Vegas, and I'm walking around the convention center where the, the conference was, and I'm looking at this giant hall, and it's packed to the gills with people, and they're all my people. They're all recruiters. And that was that was something that was, uh, it was special for me. I think it made me realize at that moment that Talent Connect is a really unique event. Yeah. I mean, I'll tag on that. We're always talking about, when it comes to your career as a career coach, your network is your net worth. And I think that's times 10 in recruiting, right? We, we have to get out of our little silo of our recruiters or our team and meet people outside, and this is the chance to do it. You're going to drop all the geographic boundaries. I mean, so many different people you would otherwise never meet are going to be there. So I agree with you on that 100%. The other thing that I think I'm just really drawn to about Talent Connect is um, what we do is very intense. It's very warrior-like. You don't stay in recruiting if you just aren't uber passionate, right? So by default, there's a certain type of tribe that, that shows up at this. And we get burnout. We get frustrated. We get myopic. We get, you know, stuck. And this thing unsticks you. You get out of the office or you get, you know, on the computer if you can't come see us live. Um, but it changes your game. It makes you think differently. And we know how important that disruption in the brain is to get the rust out. And, th I mean, that's really where Talent Connect has done a better job than any of, of, of the other events that I've been to. Okay. Cool. And uh, we have a third question coming in. Uh, for me, actually, what am I excited about as host of the live stream? Uh, you know, there's a lot of things, really. But to me, I think the thing that I'm the most excited about is really the opportunity to connect that virtual audience with what's happening in Anaheim. Um, I know that most people who are going to be watching the live stream would love to be in Anaheim with us. Uh, who wouldn't want to be there, right? And so for me, I really take it as, a, as an honor and a responsibility to really capture the, the spirit, the enthusiasm, the energy of what's happening in Anaheim and sharing that with all of the live stream viewers. What we're also going to do, just to make it as interactive as we can, is I'm certainly going to be very active on the Talent Connect hashtag, and we're going to be looking to actually bring in questions from the live stream. So uh, at the end of each day, I'm going to have an opportunity to, you know, to uh, interview the keynotes coming off the stage. And so um, I'll have some questions that I'll be dying to ask them, of course. Uh, but I'm really going to try to get you know, one or two questions from the live stream audience uh, to each keynote. So it's a way for me to kind of uh, you know, be a connective tissue to help those that can't be with us in Anaheim actually experience the conference and do it in a more meaningful way uh, than just looking at a screen, actually making it very interactive. Mm. So I think that looks like those are all the questions that we have right now. So uh, I want to thank you for joining us for this yeah. exclusive sneak peek. And uh, JT, I'm fired up to see you in Anaheim. I know. I can't wait to see you too. Just a few weeks away.
Yeah. So again, uh, reminders, it's Talent Connect is the hashtag. Higher on LinkedIn is a Twitter handle to follow. Uh, JT is at JT O'Donnell. I'm at This Is Lars. And you can register for the live stream at bit.ly slash TC Anaheim with TC and A all capitalized. We'll see you in Anaheim. All right. See you, everyone. Ciao. Right, thanks, everyone.